I'm worn out. I slept nine hours last night without a single toilet break. That's unnatural. But the work goes on. I have spent the last week, at least a week I think, without filming anything. Unburying myself from under a mountain of cardboard. And I finally cracked it yesterday I think. There's still a few bits hanging around but I've, uh, I've just about broken the back of the cardboard situation. I've been to the cardboard recycling place that often that the lady on the gate knows me now. Oh, back again are we? when you start something and then you regret it that's now although <clears throat> I am pleased to see that the posts or whatever you call them buttons whatever they're called are hardwood I don't think I'll peel any more off but now I'm certain what the, what are they called? I know where they are now. I know that they're good and strong. But my, pl oh, my plan, what, I'm, what am I doing? I'm taking the big silver box and hanging it up on the wall high. So it's out of the way. It's good storage. And I can build a bench underneath it. So after discussing it with the missus, I've de I've decided, or I've been told, I've decided to put them on the floor against the wall, and put the box on top, and then screw the box to the wall. So. I'm just going to try and dump them off the pallet without breaking my back. I could lighten the load a bit first. end of the table is not looking healthy. A little bit of weight here. Yes. While I push, and we're going. Go on. 
We're only going as far as just just past that line. Just past that line. Yeah. Why can't you roll it in with the thing? Because there's nothing to put the thing on there. Why don't you? Stop. We're just past that line. Don't it's very wobbly. Yes. That's not good. No, it's not. It'll need for anything. Maybe just two inches more. Two inches. Oh, I'm scared this little one. Fifty minutes. One, two. Better there. Yeah. That's all. Thank you. Now, are you planning on lifting that thing up yourself? Because please don't do that. No, I won't do that. All right. So you're uh, going to put something else me, there now? Me, myself and I will do it together. No, I'll get you to help me or uh, some other people's. Right. Don't ask me how that got up there. I got a bargain today. I needed some wood to uh, prop that up and, you know, make shelves and whatnot there. And I was in Bunnings looking around and they had a bin or a trolley thing set up and it said one dollar each off cuts and and uh, seconds because they're a bit bent let me show you this one here I don't know if you can see it but it's a little bit bent and this one like a banana in fact this one bends in both, both directions it's like an S but they're the worst of them this one is sort of twisted warped twisted yeah twisted you call it But look at these two. <clears throat> it's a bit twisted and warped, but that's about four meters long. And it's a big piece of timber, two of them. And, uh, and all of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the four in the shed, plus these two big boys, plus some offcuts in there, a bunch of offcuts, all for fourteen dollars. Bargain. Today might be a timely reminder that you shouldn't be coming to this channel to learn how to. This is me just doing it. And worse than that, I'm making it up on the fly. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, and changing my mind as I go.
Jump Jack is the handiest thing I've bought in a long time. put one of those 14 gauge screws through it and then I can measure where the other studs are. That way it's secure to the wall, it's standing on legs, it can't go anywhere after that. But right at this moment it's a bit dodgy. Finished with the uh, self storage place, cleaned it out, swept the floor, handed back the keys, done and dusted. But now I've lost my floor in here again. But one big achievement finished yesterday was getting the box up on the wall. It's now screwed in with eight of them eight hundred mil 14 gauge thick as screws eight of them into studs plus it's got six legs under it as well so it ain't going nowhere you see there's uh, one two three holes before I hit the stud I had to do that a couple of times because the studs are not evenly spaced some were at 600 some were at 550 and another one was at 500 and not all of them are straight that one leans over about 50 mil between there and there, there's about a 50 mil, mil lean on it. And uh, that was the first one I hit and then I tried the others measuring from them but they're not all the same gap. So I had to explore quite a bit to try and find them but I found the studs eventually. The holes don't really matter. I did find the studs, so it's got eight of those screws in it. Plus legs, warped legs that are the cheap wood I got the other day. Two there and four over here. And none of them are resting, none of the box is resting on this thing so that's com completely movable if I want to and I can use that shelf space up there too I figured out what I want to use the big box for Not to see the Aussies get smashed, but to watch the cricket and other stuff on my new, well, my newly inherited 55 inch, 55 inch Samsung. It's got one little flaw with it. My fault, I broke it. But we bought a new one for the house. We bought a 65. For the house so now i get to have the 55 in my man cave yeah <laughs> and i've got a radio and four good speakers i'm gonna stack them in the box too a uh, little bit of little bit of um, storage underneath for admin -y kind of stuff and then i'll build that in properly with a nice 
nice and secure nice and nice to look at and I'll put my radio and speakers in there as well man cave to go with homebrew so all I need now is a pillow thanks for watching see you next time <sighs> oh he caught him